Right guys, we finally, finally found it. It took two visits and probably six, six and a half hours in total. We found the bunker, the secret location, the secret bunker that so many others have not found. We've managed to find it and I'm going to bring it to your screen now. One thing is, we came here only last weekend, and if you remember on the first video, there was a bike here on the floor. A potential, I don't know if I even put it in the first video, it might be in either this video or maybe the last one. But we were here seven days after, so a week after, and now the bike's gone. So clearly somebody's been in here, probably kids, just moving stuff around and just playing. But you've got to be vigilant, vigilant, um, really, to and just be careful because people do come to these sites you know it's not just you the whole way around this site you've just got evidence of this all these manholes are being lifted because people are trying to find this so-called secure top secret bunker that nobody seems to be able to find and even we haven't found it yet so we've got this here i'm not really sure what it is i mean it's got four wheels on it it's obviously rotational I don't know if it's for camera equipment or actually, I probably it's probably actually for a radar, like a, um, a satellite, and then you can obviously rotate the positioning of it. There you go. For a big dish, potentially there, satellite dish. This must be the labs by the look of it. The ceiling panels in this building can contain asbestos. See guys, if you see stuff like this, read it. It's there for information to give you. Don't You don't need to be writing stuff on the walls. Oh, hashtag we was here. No, if you come, just leave stuff alone. Have a look, take a couple of photos and go. Read stuff like this though. See, bag with toxic written on it. Right, this is a must. Now, even when you're walking in something like this, walk slow, walk soft. Don't walk deliberately. Slow it down so that what's, what I mean by that is you're not kicking up any dust or unnecess unnecessary dust that you potentially could kick up. You need to minimise the amount of dust floating around. Right, so we've come across another one of these labs. This one's still quite heavily loaded. Even here, you've got quite a few tools and that left on the bench. You've got these working areas as well. There's a lot of caution and danger and toxic signs in this building. I'm not too keen on this one. Right, so this building we're in, guys, seems to be more like human based, more like hospital. I mean, there's loads of stuff like this. So look down, there's this kind of like, like kind of like a speed camera looking kind of gun of a trigger on. There's a few of those we've seen now, but I mean, like, I don't know what this actually is. I don't know if they worked on humans here, you know, when, when like, operations was first, first done or trials was done, I'm not really sure. You can't really seem to find any information on it either. They're all labs, and there's a lot of overcoats um, and full bodysuits everywhere, so I don't really, really know how to explain it. Well, so there's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of cupboards that people have already rummaged through. Let's, uh, I don't know what that is. It looks like blood. That does. 
Um, maybe we'll stay here. Let me just have a look and just make sure it's safe. I don't know what this thing is. There's a lot of parts for it here by the look of it. I'm going to just try and get over this. Right, so you've got just some racking with some stuff on. And then you've got loads of planes here, look. The official 60th anniversary tribute. tribute. So whoever worked in here, maybe this is like a little workshop area. Obviously, as into his Spitfires and his, you know, World War II planes. I'm not too keen on this look. So there's like a, a drop there, which looks like a drop of blood. And then here. I don't know if that's blood or not. It looks dark enough. I mean, I'm trying to be very careful here. I don't think it's blood because if someone was bleeding that heavily, they would have blood all the way out. And it looks a bit runny. It looks dark enough in places, but it looks a bit. But then drops like that there do look like it is a bleed. I'm unsure about that one. Let me know what you guys think. I can't see any bottles with any red in. But there, there's a bottle there with red in. I think it's potentially the contents of that. Scrap glass there, look, which is toxic. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I potentially think. But then if they poured it out of there, you think there'd be blood or the content in there. I mean, it might be out of there, but might have been blood in the first place. Who knows? But there's nothing on here. That's, a, that's one that could probably have a questionable debate really on as to whether what you guys think let me know right guys so it's took us an hour or so it's took us a bit of time but we're finally here we finally found the vault is it a vault bunker Bun so we finally found it guys look at the size of that look how thick we reference that how thick that door is. That is a solid door. That part isn't, but that part is. Look at the look at the locks. Pin it in. We're going in. Some sort of lift here, guys. It goes up. So straight away, this is three floors. Another solid door, look. God, that's heavy. Okay, we'll come back to that bit then. So in here... All this area is carpeted, look. It's got all the surrounding doors, they're all thick doors. So this this area here, concrete roof, this part you would get locked in. And this is all going to be obviously full of computers and measuring equipment and information cells. I mean, look at this, the amount of sockets. All of that wall there is 240 sockets, the same as all of that wall there. The centre pillars are all 240. We have to bear with the lighting because that's how dark it is, but with another torch already on because Matt's got his torch on. There you go. That's how dark it is. But look at this. You've got rooms. Even in this main hub, you've got a room in here. Look. Same again. You've got like a sight window with a curtain on to see who's outside knocking or whatever. You've got all these sockets again, all these power points. You've got ventilation so you can breathe to the oxygen supply. I mean, you know, Christ, this is some serious stuff, guys. This is made to stay in for a while. If you lock yourself in here, other than obviously food and water, where does that go? All the doors are solid. There's where that site goes to, look. Look at this, this is another exterior, do exterior door. How thick it is. 
not as thick as the others, but it's all electric. So in here's the carpeted area. You can see the difference. Look, it goes from that to office office style carpet. You know, comfort, and then all of that. What would have been in there? What information has passed through this cell? It's amazing. It's truly amazing. All right, so look how thick. I don't know if you can see that. Look how thick the doors are. Probably not ten inches. Everything's got emergency because I've switches on it. Got an arrow here for some reason. I don't know if you can see that there. So here to operate. Return and release my horizontal hand of just there. So push handle in, turn the handle. So this one is actually Yeah, so that one goes, is still locked. Got another arrow there facing the other way. Gold here. If you remember the lift at the beginning, this is obviously three floors. So here, there's some sort of like lift. Elevator, I don't really, kind of like a, a kind of a shuttle lift, which is, oh in fact no, scrap that, that's access into that centre part there, it's access there by key code, so to get into that centre piece there, you've got this kind of like sealed access point, which you would put in your key, you Swap your key code, put in a pass like passcode, and then you've got entry into there. Coming through here, and boom, and then you get to this part, and you can just feel the oxygen drain because there's no fresh air supply. So this, I don't think, will be open. No. Nah. So we're coming into this. Oh my. These okay, so we're coming into this area here, and I mean, this place is just phenomenal. So, you've got like a speaker here, look, and then that, that's probably used to address the broom. Four PowerPoints. Here is the door. So basically that shuttle door there with the key code access comes through to this door which comes into this central hub. So basically this is armoured thick doors to get in and it's only accessed by key code and uh, swipe card entry because all the doors we've come through would have originally been locked because they're all security uh, fire doors so there's only the one access into this through the swipe uh, cell in there just look at this guys i mean it literally is like something out of a it's going to sound a bit cheesy but out of like a james bond film you know you can expect like this is where mi6 and that would you know be conducting work you know, proper sneaky peaky, hush hush, um, secret stuff. You know, this is secret services. This and just look at it. It's just, it's just mind blowing. When I came in here, just it took my breath away. I was just not expecting it to be like this. You got elevators inside. Look, that's that one from down below. That comes up. This is only the second floor. There's one more floor. See this goes, see look, look at the doors guys, and this goes, uh -huh, see, hold that door a sec, 
you got to be very careful what you're doing. Alright, so we're currently on first floor. So, I'll take this opportunity just to talk through it. I'm stunned, guys. I'm amazed. This has took two visits so far to find this bunker. And I'm so stoked that we have. I hope you guys are enjoying it just as much. Smash that thumbs up button if you're as stoked as I am. I can't express the excitement, but we're going to carry on through and see what we can find. We've got a little kind of military grade box here. Going back, back in. Cheers, Matt. Look at the doors. Oh, that's a concrete cell. And then bump into this, which just looks like a set of offices, but normal work didn't conduct from here. That's for sure. It's amazing. I'm absolutely amazed, to be honest. What's the date on that? 2005. I'll have a look what's in here. See, yet again, you've got a sight glass to see what's going on outside, situation awareness, another massive door, and then in here must have been kind of a strict, there's quite a, you can tell these are all airtight because there's a very potent smell in here, but that obviously must have been more strict meeting criteria to go on in there, to be isolated away from the team out here. Same with this, this is a bigger one. Wonder what sort of conversations have been taking place through there. Yeah, they, yeah, they have. They've all got sight glass. So, all right, let's go up the floor. All right, so just looking first, just checking for safety. So up here is obviously the third floor, guys. Lift it comes up to the other side there, and this is the balcony overlooking the centre floor middle floor what we've just been discussing i mean just imagine this in full state of we'll say emergency and loads of information is getting passed from below and just standing up here and seeing the paperwork going through the phones calling you know people sending emails whatever whatever would have been happening just imagine that going on directly on dna some of the scenes in here would have been amazing to see so as, this, as the middle floor, we've got another fire escape, which is quite safe. Right, we've just come out, we've just done the full explore of this top secret bunker. Now, is bunker the best word? I don't really know, I'm not an expert at this, but we've just come out. And one thing I will say is you can 100% tell the oxygen level in there kind of dangerous but also very low because I mean I've got a massive headache now Matt's got a massive headache we've been we've been consciously keeping an eye on it but you wouldn't want to be in there on your own and I wouldn't advise ever being in there for much longer than 10 minutes uh, and anything like that maybe do a couple of three minutes come out get some fresh air if it's possible keep going back in um, but I definitely wouldn't do that on your own and I definitely would try and leave somebody on the door because it is a safety issue just a kick quick peek keep uh, <laughs> A quick key point really I want to raise there. There's all the housing guys. Just housing all the way around. Such a beautiful place though. Right guys, well there you have it, we're on our way out now and I'm so over the moon, I mean obviously you've just seen it but we managed to find a secret bunker, I mean it was just going off rumours, we were not sure if it even existed but we came in, it took a couple of free visits but this place is huge but I can safely say now we've done the full explore but there's no stone unturned if you like and obviously we found the main attraction so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you liked what you saw and uh, I'll see you guys next time.